it was my sister that pushed me into a wave when I was probably about six or seven, maybe. I don't even think there was waves that day. It was just a ripple, but it got me hooked. The transition from, you know, just free surfing to competitive surfing was probably through my board riders clubs. There were some good surfers in there at Cronulla and uh, we all started competing, you know, on a monthly, once a month kind of basis. It was only when he went in his first contest and when I got home, um, I had the phone was ringing madly with people wanting to sponsor him. And I'm really proud of him and I'm proud that he's, he's never let it get to his head, you know. He has so little movement, he's really efficient, you know, it's almost like some kind of Bruce Lee method. You know, I used to compete in um, contests like every week, you know, from Japan, we'd go to Huntington, for example, or then we end up in France, or even be surfing a, you know, beach break in Florida, and it didn't really matter. We had no waiting periods and it didn't even matter how the surf was. The contest would be on no matter what, so we'd find ourselves surfing some pretty average conditions. I was probably about my uh, sixth or seventh year on tour when I gave up my surfing career and uh, burnt out pretty much. I can attribute that to too many events in average waves and just living out of a suitcase for too long there. Yeah. My low point was probably you know, I was, when I was at the peak of my weight, I was big and I was afraid of people seeing me in that size. Yeah. Now, to tell you the truth, like it was Gordon Merchant, he just said, you gotta, you know, kind of snap out of it. They flew me over to Western Australia and I started filming with Jack and I started training, you know, and just seeing the effects of losing weight. You know, I trained for the whole year and then got fit enough to, to requalify. like I'd kind of never left. It'd been like five years. When I won my world title, it was the, in Brazil. I remember holding up like a coconut. That was like my world title trophy right there. I didn't care what kind of trophy I was going to get. One more cheer for Rocky, the world champion. From the couch to, to world champion was probably a pretty good feat. You know, I hate wrapping myself up, but, um, but I never really thought that, uh, that I'll be able to do that. You know, I guess I'm still a professional surfer. I'm retired, but I, you know, I still uh, travel and, um, you know, and kind of preach surfing and share surfing with kids and uh, mums and dads. I've been up here for about 20 years now. Beautiful spot, you know, the water's really warm, clean. There's a lot of world-class surf spots. Uh, there's Duran Bar, which is my favourite local beach break, and uh, right next door to it is Snapper Rocks. And even though it gets a bit crowded, but you know, if you wake up early enough in the morning, you know, you can you can get a you can get a wave here and there. I treasure my time at home and my family life. So, Jonah, come back this way, matey. We've been together almost 10 years and uh, and it's been just epic. It's been just a beautiful, beautiful adventure. You know, having two boys as they look like mum, lucky for them. <laughs>